Okay, one thing that comes up a lot on the SHSAT is fraction work. And you might see a question like this where it says, how many sixths are there in, and they'll give you a fraction, like four sevenths. So in this video, we're going to look at um, sixths and sevenths and eighths and ninths and all other different divisions of this number to understand what's happening. In all of these, we should realize and this is, I think, what they're looking for, that you realize that this is all about division. When you're saying how many sixths are there in four-sevenths, right, that's a division problem. Really, that's saying take four-sevenths and divide it by one-sixth. Because this expression, though you might not have thought of it this way before, yes, it splits it into groups. We can say that as well. However, we're saying how many one-sixths are there in four-sevenths. In other words, how many groups would we actually form of one-sixth, right? And, and how many would that take? Because we'll use uh, as many as we can as there are in four-sevenths. So the way I look at it is how many, how many one-sixth are there? I think I'm saying that, that right. How many one-sixth are there in four-sevenths? So we divide, and, and I'm not going to go over why this algorithm works, talk about it too much here, other than to, sh to remind you of how it works. Uh, one way to deal with this is to take the reciprocal of the second number. Right? We go over this in other videos and multiply. And reciprocal means flip. So take 1 sixth and flip it to 6 over 1. 6 over 1 and 1 over 6 are reciprocals of each other. And if that's not enough for you, you can tell two numbers are reciprocals if when you multiply them, you get 1. So 6 times the sixth is 1. Their reciprocals. So what do we do here? Well, now we multiply these two fractions. 4 times 6 is 24. 7 times 1 is 7. So our answer could be an improper fraction or a mixed number. 24 over 7, or we could say, well, how many times does 7 go into 24? Evenly, well, that's 3 times, and 3 times 7 is 21. So there's 3 out of 7 left over. So you might want to write either of these as an answer. For the next one, for sevenths, that's just four. Why? Because this number means four sevenths. So if they ask you about eighths, well, then we're just dividing again, but now we're just taking four sevenths and dividing it by one eighth. We multiply by the reciprocal here, multiply by eight over one, and that gives us what? Well, eight times four is 32 over seven. Seven goes into 32 four times evenly, and that's 7 times 4 is 28, so there's 4 sevenths left over. And then for ninths, we can just divide by 1 ninth. So 4 over 7 divided by 1 over 9, multiply by the reciprocal, 4 over 7 times 9 over 1. That gives us what? Well, 36 over 7. 7 goes into 36 5 times, and there's 1 seventh left over. Because 5 times 7 is 35, and there's one left over to 36. So really, when you're finding out how many parts or little fractions go into another fraction or another whole, you're dividing. So I hope that helped.